right, y'all, here we go with some more bullshit. So, reason for this video is that I got news this morning that Miley Cyrus' sister, who I didn't even know she had a sister, but Miley Cyrus' sister made a comment about Candace Owens being a nappy ass hoe, a nappy headed hoe. Um, okay, let me give you some backstory on this from, from what I've read, okay, what I probably got from the fake news, as a lot of right wing people like to say, all news is fake unless they're praising the president. So, um, how can I put this? Okay, so there was this singer, uh, this, this guy, this singer, who was wearing a dress, and Candace Owens, I guess, went on Twitter talking about how this is what she's talking about, we need more manly men, we can't run a country without, you know, strong men. And this is not an example of that, talking about the guy, the singer, guy with the dress, who is white, by the way. So, um, I don't agree with a lot of shit Candace Owens says, but the one thing I will agree with is that, you know, she's right about men being men. We need strong men to lead this country and to, to, to run the household. You know, we need strong men. I'm, I'm not for men in dresses at all. I think it's, you know, if my son ever put on a dress, I'd, I'd knock him out and take the dress right off of him. Boy, put some damn clothes on. You know, that, that's just me. You know, shoot me. <laughs> that, that's why I said, you know, I probably could never be a left winger because I just don't believe in that shit. So me and Candace are eye to eye on that. But a lot of other shit that she says, she made a career off of dissing black people and saying what's wrong with the black community and why black people always playing the victim and all this and that. All, all she does is throw us under the bus. When it came to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, you name it, the list goes on and on. There's always a reason why. Uh, there's justification for black people getting killed by the police and just black people, period. Like, she just always criticizes us unless you're a right winger. Those are the only black people that she cool with is if they, you know, agree with her shit. But anyways, she talked about this man with the dress on and tweeted about him, about how he's not a real man. So Miley Cyrus' sister, I guess, is cool with this guy. So she goes on Twitter and posts a picture of Candace and says... Well, you know what? He wears a dress. That he wears a dress better than some of you nappy assholes. All right. Now I had to think about this shit before I shot the video because I know subject matter like this you have to tread lightly. So I'm a I'm a tread lightly, but I'm gonna still say how the fuck I feel about it. But I had to think about this shit. Um, some people are offended by it, which they should be. Uh listen. <laughs> I did a live stream the other day talking about dating outside our, or, you know, dating outside my race, and I guess it was kind of taken as I was bashing black women, but I wasn't. I, I love black women. I love my sisters, man. But you know, I was just talking about my experiences on dating black women. But um, I got some criticism for it, and rightfully so. You know, everybody has a right to their opinion. But some people are outraged about this, and I'm not. And I'm gonna tell you why. Candace Owens gets attacked all the time, right? But. When she got attacked here, usually she'll give a classic Candace Owens clap back and try to make the person look this small. She didn't do that. Check it out. She gets back on Twitter and says, hey, left wingers, did you not hear that racist term that she said to me? Is that not racist? You know, Molly, come get your sister. She didn't attack Molly Cyrus' sister for what she said. She attacked the left and says, hey, did you not hear what she said? And mind you. Candace does not believe in racism. She believes there's no systematic racism. There's no racism in this country. It's a false narrative that black people fall for, and that keeps us in the slave mentality and victimhood, okay? Now, this girl just called you a nappy ass so, even though she was talking it almost in general, but it was a direct attack at her, even though she didn't say it by name. And the reason why I'm kind of offended by what she said is because she said it, you know, some, she wear, he wears a dress better than some of you nappy assholes, plural. If she would have came out and said, Candace, this is for you. He wears his dress better than you, you nappy ass. So I have no problem with that. Now I know what you're saying. Well, Rashad, uh, that's a black woman still. Listen, this is a black woman that's not really black. All right. She takes every chance possible and throws us under the bus. That's all she does is that she made a career off of attacking black people. And it's people like her, like Tatum, like the Hodge twins. I always pray that they have a nigger moment where they get a reality check and see that, hey, even though you defend white America all day, you, you praise white America all day, you thank God for slavery, but these same white motherfuckers that you love will turn on you and you are still a nigga to them. And that's what I wanted them to see. And that's kind of the moment that she had. But if Molly Cyrus' sister would have said it to her directly, you nappy asshole, I'd have had no problem with it. I'd been like, yes, she finally got her nigga moment. Eat it. Take it. 
Now, let's hear Candace Owens' comeback. But no, it wasn't a direct assault, but it was towards her. Like, anybody with any kind of sense can know that. But Candace didn't come out and say, well, hey, let me tell you something, you little imbecile, you whatever, whatever. She didn't, she didn't have the same energy like she had with Cardi B. Remember when Cardi B came after her? What did Candace do? Candace fired at Cardi B. You know, Rambo style. Da -da 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 and then Tate and everybody's making videos with thumbnails tomorrow. Oh, Candace wrecked. Yo, Candace wrecked Cardi B. The Hodge Swins. Man, Candace Owens. Man, she wrecked Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, she destroyed her. So she had no problem destroying Cardi B. She had no problem coming after Dave Chappelle. You know, even though she said it like in a passive aggressive way, like, oh, well, I'm not like the, these left wingers. I appreciate good comedy, but I bet you what, he won't say it to my face. Like, yeah, nigga, step up, and I'll bet I'll destroy you. Oh, Candace says she'll wreck Dave Chappelle. But when it came to Miley Cyrus's sister, she said, oh, you left-wingers, did you not hear the racist thing that she said to me, and you're okay with that? Hey, you woke left -wing. She is so fixated on the left <laughs> and on liberals, all right? Even, okay, if it's an insult that comes from a liberal, she will just attack other liberals, all right? But she won't have the same energy like she had with Cardi B, like she had with Dave Chappelle, like she had with T.I. or any other black celebrity that came after her. Oh, she'll come out swinging like Tyson. But because she wants to attack the liberals so bad and left so bad, she just ignored the fact that Miley Cyrus's sister called her a nappy ass hoe which is one of the most derogatory terms you could say to a black woman. And instead of her firing back at her, she mocks the liberals. And that's why I have, I take no, like, because at first I was like, damn, I'm kind of torn with this. But no, I'm not going to sit there and be like, no, that's a black woman still. No, you don't insult a black woman. And I, I, listen, I'm not for insulting black women. But when you have a black woman like that, who, if something happens to me today, if something happens to me today, right, Candace Owens will go back into my history when I was in high school where Rashad was a, a straight a, a C student. He wasn't exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. He took some remedial classes in ninth grade, so he wasn't exactly a saint, you know. He got into a fight with his cousin one time and busted his eardrum. You know, he wasn't exactly a nice person. She'll find any dirt she can to make a black person look bad to, to soften the blow or watch something happen to them, all right? And this is why I'm not going to get offended by what was said about her. Now, I'm offended that she said it plurally, so that means that she sees black women as nappy assholes. So, with that, I don't fuck with you, told Miley Cyrus' sister. She did apologize. She came back and said, you know, I apologize for, you know, apology accepted, but the damage is done. We know how you feel. So, I don't give a damn about you, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate your apology, but still, step the fuck off. But... I'm not going to be one of those that's going to be like, well, Candace, we stand with you. You know, that was so wrong what happened to you. Candace don't give a shit. Candace don't give a damn that she got, she got called a nappy head hoe. Candace just wants to use ammunition to further insult the left and the liberals. The conservatives want to take the liberals down like G.I. Joe wants to take down Cobra, okay? But it's funny, let's say if that does happen, let's say if the conservatives have their way and they take the liberal left-wingers down and there's no more liberals, there's no more left, you know, the rebellion has crushed the empire, the empire being the liberals, the conservatives won, yo, Joe, then what happens? You're still going to have some opposition, then there's going to be turmoil within the fucking right, then you're going to have your alt-right and your regular right, okay, well, you're going to have your black right and your white right, it's still going to be some kind of, some kind of beef, some kind of battle. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they might be on some bullshit, man, fuck it, they, they, they still arguing, talking about this damn election is rigged, man, fuck it, all, everything is fucking rigged, you think, you think every election before this one was squeaky clean, and everybody won fair, shit, Trump cheated, you know, but if, if Trump was declared the winner, there'd be no investigations, there'd be none of this shit, so shut the fuck up, <laughs> I, I don't know of any election that was one fair, but because it's your boy Trump, or well, now you want to find any little thing, oh, there's video footage of cheating and fraud. Fuck out of here. The nigga lost, man. Shut up. Damn. And you try to sound all educated and shit. Yeah, y'all the world's best detectives, man. You know, y'all find during everything. Fuck being called conservatives. Call yourselves PIs. <laughs> PIC, private investigative conservatives. Shit, do your research. Fuck out of here, nigga. But yeah, Candace Owens, I... I, I probably agree with maybe five five or six percent of what she says. Some shit she says is, you know, you can't, 
I mean, even the whole thing with fathers being in the homes. Yes, I feel like there should be fathers in the home. What are you going to do? You're going to put a gun to the motherfucker head and be like, hey, hey, be in the home with your family or else we're going to shoot you. You know, she just finds every reason why the black community is all kind of fucked up. Like she has all the answers. Like she's she's so she's the most woke black person on the planet. There's nobody more black than me. I wish more black people would get on my level. You got a white fucking husband from the UK. You're carrying his white child. Don't tell me shit about being black, motherfucker. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Fuck out of here. So anyways, y'all, what y'all thought about this, uh, this whole Candace Owens situation? Do you think that, um, that, you know, it was fucked up that she was called that? Do you say, fuck her, that's what she get? Like me, I feel she had that nigga come, that nigga moment coming. Comment freely below if you like and did the content at that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.